TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 9 a.m. Eastern Time on Thursday morning, 30 minutes to go until the trading day. We got markets barely in the positive side right now. Dow futures up 32 points, trading at 26,017, back over that 26,000 mark. S&P futures right now positive by four, trading at 28.85. NASDAQ futures positive by 15, trading at 75.61. We've got a little bit of weakness in oil, trading negative 17 cents at 52.17, and the 10-year trading at a yield of 1.589% quite a couple days in the market to put things in context there's your tuesday there's your wednesday in the s p we trade from basically start of tuesday action right up there near 3000 you're currently trading 2883 and as we come into thursday trading checking out the vix quite a spike yesterday to 2146 for that volatility index the vix looking to open right at about 20 dollars this morning jumping over the markets we'll start things off with the indices there's your dow 30 so pretty much the slide all yesterday right we look at where we were at about 1 p.m. Eastern Time, you had lows in the Dow at about 25,942, and we've just kind of been hanging out at these levels all overnight. The Dow futures December trading at 26,000 on the dot. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar story. There's your action overnight yesterday, trading all throughout the trading day to lower territory, making lows at about 1 p.m. Eastern Time of 75.29 in the NASDAQ 100. You're currently trading 75.56. There's the S&P 500, currently trading at 28.83 as we went over it on the Thinkorswim platform. There's crude oil, a little bit of volatility this morning. We're just coming up to that $52 price point as we speak with crude trading at $52.04 pennies. Gold contract catching a bid yesterday as the markets fell apart. You have gold back above 1500, trading at 1506.55, and the Euro US dollar trading at 109.60. In terms of what else you have happening across the market, new tariffs coming in line for EU. And man, they got some delicious tariffs in terms of quite a shame. We're going to get cheese. Here we go. So 25% duties, single malt, I single malt Irish and Scotch whiskeys, various garments, blankets, coffee, the plethora. And you also got Tesla getting a downgrade. There's a lot going on. Just to jump over, we had Best Bed Bath & Beyond earnings. There's Bed Bath & Beyond looking to open lower. Tesla came in at 97,000 vehicles. They were hoping to come in at 100,000 vehicles. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pezzamento coming up right now. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Basil Chapman filling in. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.